Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for uh, One Piece chapter 900, 926. So, the chapter starts off with the various allies of the Kazuki clan getting the message about about the uh, about the Kozuki, about about the Momonosuke and and everyone's return. However, the biggest crippling problem addressed in this chapter is the fact that 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 that, that the rebellion, the rebellious the rebel the rebellion and, and the, re the rebellious elements and the, the people who are going to who are going to reunite with Momonosuke and and and, and Kinemon and whatnot that they basically have no swords to fight so and based on Usopp's showboating in this chapter I think he'll more than likely end up being the one to help them out in that regard like he, he basically even though he's been portraying a swordsmith we we you definitely know we definitely know that that Usopp he 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 is definitely smart when it comes to when it comes to crafting weapons and just and just crafting things in general, so yeah, I think I think Usopp is going to be is definitely going to be a helpful element in regards of a uh, in regards of helping them out. Although cons although considering the fact that that, that although considering the fact that, that basically with, with the way th with this how things have been set up so far, uh, it's more than clear that that they're pretty much that everyone is. That the plan is basically short on time, like 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 they need to work fast in order to get going. So, even <clears throat> so, with that having said, I don't think Usopp is alone is going to be the one. Is Usopp alone is is going to be the one to pretty much do it alone? Like, at, what with this with this setup of with this setup of 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 swords being of swords being banned and whatnot, I almost think that, that, that now would be a perfect time as any in order to bring, in order to bring, uh, Thomas Master Hitetsu back into the story in order to help Usopp as, as well, and, like, help Usopp as well, and in that regard, it'll be, like, it'll be Usopp and Hitetsu who end up, who end up working overtime in order to craft swords for, for basically the, for, for, for pretty much every, every one of the, every one of the rebellion, pretty much, so, yeah, it's, It'll, I, I, so yeah, I think both Usopp and Hitetsu are going to be, are going to be some very, uh, are going to be some key people in, key people in, in, in like, in getting swords and whatnot. Um, and yeah, over, and overall, it does feel like Oda's really starting to bring elements of the arc together now, now, or at least on, on the Straw Hats end of things, because, like, we, uh, of course, of course, of course, we, we, we of course, as of right now, like what we've seen is basically all set up for basically the straw hat side of things, but it, it it's still kind of up in it's still like we, we basically know enough, but it's also still kind of up in the air as to what as to what part that, that Moria and Blackbeard are going to even play in this because again, it's it's more than obvious that that Moria pretty much pretty much went to Blackbeard in order to get help in dealing with Kaido. So yeah, it's um yeah what what. what It'll be interesting to see how, how how basically all of this how all of this set up and how and and how now and how Luffy's group and and Mori's group are going to end up coming together in the end. I'm I'm, I'm really honestly excited for that. Um, although although the biggest thing to address for sure in this in in this chapter above everything else is that I I I I feel I. I I feel the biggest problem that that will come up aside from the swords, even bigger than the sword problem, is that th is that this is definitely going to be uh, uh, is that when when all when all when the rebellion does gather, this is going to be a moment for Momonosuke. Because as I said last week, I feel with that when these all these rebels pretty much do end up gathering, Momonosuke will definitely be forced into a situation in which he has to step up and accept his role as leader. Like it's going to be at that point where. Where, where, or basically, j j just having the title of the of the son of Odin, and 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 just it, it it's gonna be at a at a point where, where he can't rely on his retainers, he can't rely on on Kinemon, he can't rely on any of them. He has to like step up and say, "I'm the leader. I'm the, and, and 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 this is what I want to do." Like he, like like Kinemon, he 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 has to he has to basically when when the rebel when the, when the rebels do gather, Kinemon has to take a step aside at that point and. And let Kinem and let Momonosuke pretty much do his thing. So yeah, I'm I'm curious, but yeah, I but either way, I'm I'm curious to see how the how the how the interaction between Momonosuke and the and the rebels are is gonna go, because either way, Momonosuke is gonna get development for sure. Um, and we get to see Nami and and Shinobu spying on two men in order to get information on the weapon shipment. 
which of course gloriously ba backfires on them. Um, and I'm really hesitating to make this judgment call, for, for, just pretty much, pretty much on the fact that, on the fact that we we, we weren't even given Oda's official official bombastic introduction yet, and the fact that he tends to go in a completely opposite direction from what we expect and predict. But okay, basically my prediction is 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 that the bald guy is the bald guy in the robe and the long beard is Orochi. Yet at the same time, it's a prediction I don't want to stick with due to the facts I just mentioned. Plus, I'm convinced even more though that if Oda has decided to keep Orochi's reveal in the dark for this long, I think it's a safer bet bet on the fact that Oda does have like a plan in place and he has the perfect moment to, and he has the perfect moment picked out in order to actually reveal in order to actually reveal who, who exactly Orochi is and 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 who and, and this guy's like identity his his face his j j just his overall j just who this guy is in general so yeah I, I don't think so yeah it's 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 a prediction I'm I'm very much loose on and because of of, of what Oda's just just on the fact that Oda hasn't officially made any kind of introduction to Orochi yet. So yeah. But although one thing I think we can confirm and and that I am hundred percent sure of now, however, is that Nami is a better ninja is, is Nami is, is that Nami is a be, is better ninja complete than, than pretty much than, than anything than any kind of ability that, that pretty much that, that her that her quote unquote mentor in that her quote unquote mentor of, of, of basically she, uh, uh, in in pretty much she 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 no 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 boo like in every sense of the word just Nami is the better ninja even if she hasn't even if even if 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 we have seen even if we have seen uh, I guess a lot more ability from from pretty much her 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 quote unquote master I guess. <laughs> And and honestly, I actually kind of want to see pretty much. And actually, after seeing like the whole ninja shit, I do want to see. I, I do genuinely want to want to see want to see want to see pretty much. I want to see I want to see pretty much. I want to see a little a lot more ninja techniques and moves. I want to see a lot more ninja moves from from pretty much Nami. Like I want to see I want to see I want to see her, her actually fight like a ninja. I think that would be kind of cool. <coughs> um. We also get an update on Sanji, and in typical fashion, he's trying to woo the ladies of Wano. So nothing new there, except for the fact that, except for the shadowy figure watching him. So I think that's probably a hint that there's about to be an attempted assassination on his life. And normally, I'd say good luck, pal. But after the whole fiasco with Kaido, I'm more of a believer that almost anything will happen at this point. Like I, of course, of course, Sanji is gonna serve is gonna survive in the end, of course, but. At the same time, like I, I think, I think if that guy is an assassin, if that shadow of the figure is an assassin, he's definitely gonna put up a, a little, a little more of a fight against Sanji for sure. <clears throat> um, of course, after all this, the chapter switches over to Luffy and Kid. And at first, I thought they were attempting an escape, but but then I remembered the title of the chapter. My mind kick, clicked in and said, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah, never, never mind. They're they're just doing manual labor in in a prison mine or something like that. Um, also, f also personally, I think for me personally, I think this chapter cements the first time I've ever thought of Kid as a funny character because he, he had some like for the most part with Kid, I've always I've always kind of seen him as just kind of that, it's just kind of that 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 it's just kind of that that I I guess I guess arrogant. Arrogant asshole who who just kind of ha has who just kind of ha has has like a temper and and he'll basically kill you if you even look at him wrong, but with this, I'm not gonna lie. With this chapter, I there were some genuinely gen, some genuinely pretty much there were some genuinely genuine moments where I thought he was a a funny character because with and and especially with Lu and especially when when working off Luffy, he was genuinely funny. Like like seeing okay. Seeing a stuffed, fat-bellied Eustace is something I never thought I ever wanted to see until now. But yeah, what can I say? Just seeing him in 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 the same stuffed, in the same same stuffed state as Luffy was just a, it was hilarious. I I couldn't, I didn't think Oda would be able to make it make Eustace funny. 
uh, other than the occasional like other than the, the question other than the occasional quip from him like 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 in Sabaudi, but yeah, he, he made use this funny to me. <laughs> um also the t taskmaster's all but on a more serious note uh we, we get to see the taskmaster's jaw drop which was a funny moment as i kind of at at just like we, we get to see the ta like we get to see luffy and luffy and kid kind of kind of stretch their muscles and and see just kind of how strong they are even without their powers and the thing about that scene is that it is funny just pretty much based on on seeing the taskmaster's jaw drop but but that scene in particular, it even kind of made my jaw drop a bit at the just if you consider the implication of what their of what their strength without their powers means, because in a way, what both of them are doing by lifting these giant rocks could be interpreted as a form of training, which means Kaido's men that they're probably unintentionally they're probably unintentionally only making only making pretty much pretty much both Luffy and Kid stronger and. And I think at this point we can assume that they're gonna that Luffy and Kid are gonna continue to get stronger by pretty much doing this manual labor until it gets to a point where they'll be able to escape even without the use of their powers. So, yeah, I'm so yeah. It's kind of one of those things where or, or they're definitely getting stronger, but I yeah I I think I think by having them doing this manual labor that that pretty much Kaido's men are putting themselves in. In a bit of a precarious situation for sure, but I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Um, now it's very no. Next thing I want to talk about is like the, the, there was pretty much a small panel in this chapter. It was very quick, and I don't know how many people reading this chapter caught it, but Caribou's back. Yeah, remember him, the the, the guy from the, the guy from the the guy from the, the, the it was the return to Zabaudi Arc and and Fishman Island. Yeah, he's back. Um, and he's apparently imprisoned in this. He's apparently a, 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 he's apparently a bit of a slave right alongside Luffy, Luffy, Kid, Luffy and Kid. Which I'm really kind of. Which basically just seeing Caribou in general again has me really mixed. Because uh, on one hand, I'm thinking, please, can can someone j just can, can can this guy just please go away permanently? Like. I, cause yeah, I've, I've never liked him to be honest with you. But j just the fact that Oda does keep bringing him back, I guess means that that he still has that he that he still is gonna have some kind of purpose in the overall story and especially and especially this arc. But if that is the case, then hopefully the character will get at least a couple moments that will, I guess, make me hate him less. Cause I don't think they'll with Caribou. Sorry about that, but yeah, with Caribou, I don't think there will ever come a time where he, where he redeems himself in my eyes. He's just always going to be the, just going to be a bit of a crusty character for me. But uh, here's hoping that Oda at least makes him at least a little more at least tolerable at the at best. Although, although with him returning, I am kind of curious if he's alone or if he reunited with his brother by now. But yeah, I'm I'm really. Uh, yeah, but I guess, I guess with that one, we'll just have to wait and see as to what Oda pl even plans to do with Caribou to begin with. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, any list of Crunchyroll. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.